Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I'm doing a video that I've wanted to do for quite some time now. I'm gonna be making a room for Alex. If you don't know who Alex is, she plays a big role on my series Emily and Friends and she doesn't have a room, so that's what we're gonna be making for her today. Let's just get right on into it. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen my Emily and Friends episodes yet, what are you doing? Go check them out. Now, to get started, I actually already have the box ready for this craft. Now, before I just go and jump right into the craft, I'm going to leave the measurements for how this box is like so far in case you want to follow along with me. And yes, I did already prepare the window as well, but this is the base I'm working with. And from now on, you'll see me do everything step by step. Also, just ignore those drawings on the floor. Those are just my own drawings for a plan. Just, just ignore those. <laughs> so to get started, we jump right into the fun stuff. Gluing paper on all the rough edges. Yeah. So this part is actually pretty boring, but it's really important for all the edges to be nice and smooth. But after this step, I promise it'll actually get exciting. And don't forget about the window. And now that we have that all glued up, it is time for the actual fun part. Choosing the walls and flooring. Personally, I'm gonna go for this lilac purple color on the back wall. And I'm gonna do these white bricks that I just printed off from my printer on the two side walls. And as for the flooring, I'm gonna be using my favorite flooring, which you've probably seen in literally every other doll room video because I just love it. And this is one I also just printed off from online. And this time around, I'll be using a glue stick just so it's nice and smooth and there's no weird lumps from the glue gun. And here we have it, both the walls and the floor are covered now. And yes, it doesn't look too pretty at the moment, but later I am gonna be adding baseboards to cover up all of that. And we're also gonna be adding some trim around the window later as well. I just went ahead and cut a sheet of clear plastic from some packaging that is a little bigger than the window cutout. And I'm gonna glue this piece on the other side of this wall behind the window to act as glass. Now to make the trimming for the window, I cut thin strips of foam board and I glue them around the window. So now we have the base of the room all completed. And don't worry, we will be adding baseboards, but we're just gonna do that a little bit later. And this next step is where things really get exciting. I have personally planned out exactly kind of how I want to build the furniture and how I want the room to look in general, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'm going to be using foam board for basically all of the furniture in the room, and I definitely recommend it. It just makes things so much easier, and especially if you want the furniture to be white already. I start off by cutting two pieces, one that is four by five inches, and the other is two by four inches. And then I glue the smaller piece to the bigger one. And then I glue this piece into the left corner over here. I also just wanna quickly mention before we get any further into the craft that keep in mind, I am making this for Alex, which is a Stacy doll. But of course you could alter everything and just make things a little bit bigger to fit a Barbie doll. But I thought I should just remind you to keep in mind that this is all sized for a Stacy sized doll. I cut another long foam board piece. This one is about 12 inches long and is the width of the little box thing we just made. So it'll fit just like that. However, before we glue that in place, I do wanna add a little something to this side. I cut a piece that is four by two and a half inches and I'm going to glue that right here on the end and edge of this long strip we made. Finally, I cut two more identical pieces 
that we can glue behind this piece we just glued on earlier on both sides. So now we can glue it in place. Then to make fake little drawers, I just cut out three little rectangles and I'm just gonna glue them right onto this piece here. And now to make a little shelf, we're gonna be using, you guessed it, more foam board. I swear this stuff makes life easier. I have this piece that measures seven by one and a half inches and I mark three evenly spaced lines. And I repeat that on a second one. Then I cut four more strips of foam board that measure one by four and a half inches and I glue them to the lines we just marked. And I also glue one at the top. And then I glue on the other strip lining up the lines with the shelves. And I glue this in place over here. And now we're gonna work on making the bed slash couch. Don't worry, it'll all make sense later. So I have this big piece and this is basically the size of the bed. And for me, this measures 10 by four inches. And then I cut another strip that measures two and a half by 10 inches. And I'm gonna glue this bigger piece to the smaller one at about three quarters of an inch from the top. And then I glue this piece onto the end that's about three inches tall. And then I glue that in place into the room. I am gonna glue some pieces of foam board to look like little drawers. Now to make a mattress for the bed slash couch, I cut a piece of foam board that can fit into the bed and I take some blanket filler stuff. It's basically like a sheet of fluffiness and I'm gonna glue layers of this stuff on top of the foam board piece. Be careful though, because the hot glue can easily seep through and you don't wanna burn your fingers. I ended up doing about four layers. And then to match the room, I'm gonna be using this purple fabric to cover the mattress. I'm just gonna lay the mattress down and I'm just gonna fold over and glue down the fabric underneath the foam board. Now I know it looks like a mess right now, but I promise it'll look good on the bed. As for the actual blanket on the bed, I quickly knitted together this blanket. And by quickly, I mean it took me around two hours, <laughs> but I think it's worth it. Okay, so maybe it's not the most appealing, but if we add some pillows, I think that looks a little better. And if we rearrange the pillows, we can turn it into a couch. I might actually wanna also remove this knitted blanket and drape it over the side instead. And there, that's a pretty cute couch. And I just think that's overall a really cool concept, how it can be both a couch and a bed. And I think now would actually be a good time to add the baseboards. I just cut half an inch strips of foam board and glue them in place. I feel like a mirror over in this corner here would look really good, kind of like how I did in my DIY dream closet video. I cut a piece of foam board for the mirror that is three by 10 inches. And I also have this mirror paper. I just got it off Amazon and it's super awesome. So that's what I'll be using to actually make the mirror reflect. So I just peel off the sticky side. And I'm just going to stick this down and try not to create any air bubbles. I can also peel off this protective coat. And then I just fold over the edges onto the back side. And then I just place that into the room at an angle in the corner. I also want to mention I am aware that the mirror has a bit of an odd texture just because it's picking up the texture from the foam board. So I guess if you want it to be completely smooth, I'd try to find something that's completely smooth. And now to spice and things up a little bit, or should I say brighten things up a little bit. <laughs> okay. I draw a circle on some paperboard and cut it out. And I glue that down onto the same paperboard and cut it out again. 
and I continue doing that until I'm happy with the thickness. I grab this paper towel roll. You could probably use a toilet paper roll if you don't have one of these. And I cut it at one and a half inches. Why is this so satisfying to cut? Then I trace this piece on some more paperboard and cut it out. And now I'm gonna paint all three of these pieces white. And we're probably gonna need to paint on a few layers. I then grab a wooden dowel, mark at eight inches, and cut it. And I also mark another piece of wooden dowel that can fit on the inside of the tube piece. And I cut that. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and glue this dowel piece into the tube about halfway in. So it should kind of look like that. I glue the longer wooden dowel to the center of the shorter one. I glue the other end of the wooden dowel to the thick circle piece we made. And I actually even made a little hole with my scissors to make it a little bit easier so that it'll be a little bit more sturdy. Then on the last little circle cutout, I'm gonna be gluing this little light to it. I also just got these on Amazon. They are super cheap and you can just flick this little thing here to turn the light on and off. So I just, unpeel the sticky backing and stick it on the bottom side of the circle piece. And so now this piece can just sit on top of the lamp. And if we want to turn the lamp on, we just flick this little light, put the top on for an actual working lamp. And I think that's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna place this lamp right beside the mirror here. And here it is in its true glory with all the other lights off. I'm just trying to decide if it would look better with white instead of wooden for the actual stand part of the lamp. So I actually decided to go with silver. I think it just kind of suits the room the best. Now let's make a clothing rack for over on this wall. I think that'll look really good. I start by taking four wooden dowels, marking them all at eight inches and cutting them. I take two of the wooden dowels and I glue them together at the top. So it kind of makes this triangle shape. And I repeat that with the other two and making sure it has the same slant as the first set. Then I take one more wooden dowel and I cut it at five and a half inches. And now I'm gonna paint these three pieces white. Now that everything's painted and dry, I'm going to glue this smaller dowel on the tops of the triangle pieces. And to make this clothing rack a little more exciting, I cut this strip of foam board that is one and a half inches wide, and I'm going to glue that near the bottom in between the two triangle pieces. I place that into the room now, as much as I love that big window, I feel like it would look really good with some curtains. So here we are back with more wooden dowels and I'm going to cut this one so it's just a little bit longer than the top frame of the window. I'm also just gonna cut two smaller pieces about a half an inch long. You guys know the routine by now. I'm gonna go and paint these. This time I'm gonna make them a silver color. And while that's drying, basically I thought it'd be kind of cute if I made them tool curtains. So I basically just cut out two kind of rectangles of tool and I'm just going to fold over and sew down the top so that there's an opening that the curtain rod can go through. When I sewed this, I made sure to just sew right through and not tie any of the ends. Now I just take this piece or the wooden dowel and I thread it through the opening on the tool. And then once it's on, I pull one of the strings on the tool so that the fabric will actually gather. Then I'm just gonna knot the strings. And then I'm just gonna repeat that with the other sheet of tool. And now I'm gonna grab these two smaller wooden dowel pieces 
and glue them to the ends of this big one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this in place above the window. Now, obviously at this point, it doesn't look too pretty, but I'm gonna grab some ribbon. I'm gonna tie up the curtains in a little bow so it'll look a little bit prettier and nicer overall. That looks much better, and because I'm actually probably not gonna be opening and closing these curtains, I'm going to just add a little bit of glue to the back of the ribbons and glue them in place so that everything can stay nice. And now to make a little seating bench thing. I was gonna make a chair, but that's too much work. So I'm just gonna make a simple little bench for her to sit on. I just have three pieces of foam board. I glue them together to make a little bench for her to sit on. Because this floor is looking pretty plain, I just cut a rectangle of this fuzzy fabric and I'm just gonna use that as kind of like a rug like that i don't know i'm just gonna like leave it like that for right now now this is kind of a random idea but i feel like it would look kind of good if i just like drape some tool over in this corner here like something like that so i'm just gonna use my hot glue gun and make little dots to hold this in place so i'm actually just gonna quickly share how i did this i actually ended up like gluing this little wooden dowel thing so the tool can just kind of lay over it and i just tied this tool together at the end and kind of just flop it over the corner. I also just have these fairy lights and I'm gonna kind of add them into the tool for a really cute effect. I don't know what it is but I swear they look better off camera. On camera it just kind of looks like a hot mess but I promise it actually looks really cute at least off camera anyways. So at this point we basically just have to add some accessories and final touches to the room. So I'm gonna start off by adding some clothes and accessories to the clothing rack over here. I also thought this little purse was adorable and I'm just gonna hang it right over here. Then I'm just adding some shoes. Now I'm just gonna add some random trinkets and thingamajigs over in the shelves and on the desk. Okay, there's a bit of a better angle of the lights so you can kind of get a better idea of how they look. Anyways, they're super cute in person. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, this room really came around and I think it looks adorable. Like literally, I just, I'm actually like speechless. I'm very shocked on how much I actually really like this right now. I can't get over the fact that I made a working lamp. I think that is literally so cool. And I feel like this is kind of the perfect room for Alex. It still has some younger looking parts to it, but also a bit of an older, mature vibe as well. Perfect for Alex's age, which is about 12 or 13. I literally don't remember right now. <laughs> and here Alex is in her room. And wow, that shirt she's wearing is definitely matching the vibe in here, all purple. I didn't really originally plan for everything to be kind of a purple vibe, but I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love it. I also love the fact that this couch is also like a bed. It's like a day bed thing and I love that. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this room because I'm genuinely really curious to know. I personally really enjoy making these building videos as you can probably tell by my energy in this video. I'm just very pumped and excited overall and I hope you guys enjoy watching me do this stuff as well so I can do more in the future. Anyways, enough with me blabbing on. Let's get into today's shoutouts. The shoutouts for today go to Dolls Army, Amelia Singh, and Madison Avery. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you need a chance to get a shoutout, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag Beauty Squad, and you'll have a chance to get a shoutout in the next one. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed watching me put this room together and let me know your thoughts overall in the comments and if you're gonna try making something similar yourself. As always, don't forget to subscribe because as you know, it really does support me and I appreciate it so, so much. It literally means the world. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.